Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to another FNAF News video, and in today's video, we're finally going to be talking about a massive Funko leak that happened a few weeks ago, that revealed a whole bunch of upcoming FNAF Funko products that, in my opinion, are some of the most exciting products we've seen in a long, long time. I'm talking a second wave of security breach merchandise, action figures and plushies for the daycare attendant, some FNAF AR characters, as well as what could be our first look at a brand new set of characters we're going to see in the upcoming Ruin DLC. So if you're brand new to the channel, please double check, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We actually just hit 46,000 subscribers. We're trying to get 50k by the end of the year, but of course we can only do it with your help. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, hit the like button, and now let's hop into the brand new reveals. Kicking it off, we got an update on some more Funko statues. You may remember a long time ago, we got those Glamrock Freddy, Gregory, and Vanny and Vanessa statues, and they were heavily praised in the community, and we all thought it was only a matter of time until we got more from Funko, and shortly after those statues, we actually got a leak from Tony Mario Bros, who by the way has supplied all the leaks in this video. I'll leave their Twitter link down below, please go show them some support, but they leaked that Foxy and Lefty would be getting their own Funko statues, and there wasn't a whole lot of news on when they were coming out, but fortunately, it seems like we have an estimated time of release this time, that being fall of this year, 2022, which may seem a little weird because, I mean, we're in fall right now and we have no official update update on the statues. So here's to hoping they're still going to release around this season, but honestly, I guess we're just going to have to wait and find out. And now we move on to the huge leak that Tony provided us, and this is the lineup, and I know it looks like a lot, and trust me it is, but we're going to go through it very slow. So let's start off on the left side with the plushies. And it looks like pretty soon we're going to be getting a 10-inch plushie of Nightmare Freddy and also Nightmare Bonnie, a 16-inch fanverse plushie of Candy the Cat, apparently the Blackheart Bonnie skin from FNAF AR Special Delivery will be getting their own plushie, and then we move on to the main characters of today's video, the Balloon and Circus animatronics. Balloon Freddy, Balloon Bonnie, Balloon Chica, Balloon Foxy, as well as their Circus variants, Circus Freddy, Circus Bonnie, Circus Chica, and Circus Foxy, from Security Breach will be getting their own plushies. Now you may be thinking, Hmm, that's weird, I don't remember those characters in Security Breach. But keep that in mind, and let's continue on with the list. Some characters you should remember from Security Breach, however, are the Sun and Moon variants of the Daycare Attendant, and it looks like finally Funko's gonna be giving them some love, because it seems like we've got plushies of them coming very soon. But that's all the plushies, now let's move on to some action figures. Looks like we got a 13 and a half inch tall Freddy and Bonnie figures coming down the line. Once again, Blackheart Bonnie making an appearance. So along with his brand new plushie, he will also apparently be getting an action figure. And then back to these weird variants of Freddy, Bonnie, Cheek, and Foxy. Clown. Freddy, Clown Bonnie, Clown Chica, Clown Foxy. And then also Freddy with Balloon. So once again, keep those characters in mind. Clown Freddy, Circus Freddy, Balloon Freddy. Keep all three of those in mind as well as Freddy with a Balloon. Then you've also got Balloon Foxy getting a figure. And finally, the Sun and Moon versions of the Daycare Attendant getting figures. So just like Blackheart Bonnie, it looks like both Sun and Moon will be getting plushies and action figures. So finally, Daycare Attendant fans, you're in luck. Next up, we move on to Funko Snaps, which is actually a new line of products Funko launched earlier this year. Brand new characters coming to the merchandise line are Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, and Toy Chica 2 packs, the Security Room playset, as well as Phantom Foxy from FNAF 3. So that's very exciting. Me personally, I'm a huge fan of the Snap line. So honestly, I'm super excited to see these brand new characters and the line continue. And now we move on to other miscellaneous merchandise we're going to get from Funko based around FNAF. One of those products being a Foxy Soda. And if you're not well aware of Funko Soda line, it's just a little figurine inside of a soda can. So unfortunately, no actual Foxy themed drink, like the Pirate Cove Cooler or whatever it's called in Help Wanted. Something else that's very exciting though is a second wave of Security Breach themed mystery minis. You may remember the first line of Security Breach mystery minis from Funko was kind of underwhelming because it was just the five Glamrock animatronics, or sorry, the four Glamrock animatronics and then also Vanny and they just had a butt ton of recolors. So hopefully with this second wave we can see a more diverse cast, like Burn Trap, the Blob, the Teeny Music Mans, the DJ Music Man, Vanessa, uh, you know, Gregory, the staff bots. Wow, they have a lot of characters to catch up on. Oh, and Pat Pat too. Definitely can't forget about Pat Pat. So in my initial recording, I completely forgot to mention the brand new Security Breach Funko Skate Decks. And I think that's just because, well, I 
think it's pretty obvious what they're going to be. They're just gonna be small skate decks with, you know, the FNAF Funko characters on them. Nothing all that exciting, but I feel bad for skipping it, so there you go. So that is all of the leaked upcoming FNAF products being produced by Funko. Something I regret doing was not actually naming off if any of the products are gonna be exclusive or common. I apologize, but all the texts in light blue are going to be exclusive to some store, like GameStop or Walmart or Hot Topic, and then all the texts in white are going to be commons, products you can find in any store or online anywhere. But now let's go back to those characters I told you to keep in the back of your head while we went down the list. And those characters were the balloon, clown, and circus versions of Freddy Body Chica Foxy, as well as Freddy with a balloon. Because you may notice that they're listed under the Security Breach tag, meaning they're somehow affiliated with Security Breach. And I think we all know we did not see a clown, balloon, or circus versions of Freddy Bonnie Chica Foxy. In fact, we didn't even get a full glimpse of Bonnie and Foxy in Security Breach at all. So what's going on with those characters? And in fact, it turns out this isn't the only time we've seen a balloon Freddy or a Freddy with a balloon themed with Security Breach. Because also revealed last month was a brand new shirt by Hot Topic, which features a whole bunch of versions of Freddy Fazbear, including Glamrock Freddy and also you may notice in the top right, a version of Freddy Fazbear not only dressed as Balloon Boy, but also holding a balloon. Balloon Freddy, Freddy with a balloon. Hmm, I think we're starting to get somewhere. But who is this character? Because clearly, if they're getting merchandise from Funko and also a Hot Topic shirt, they have some importance. And they're closely affiliated with Security Breach despite not actually appearing in the main game? I think it could be pretty likely this is our first glimpse at a brand new set of characters coming in the upcoming Gruen DLC. The only issue with this is that, like I said, Bonnie and Foxy were not in Security Breach, and it's also just weird to have these random clown circus balloon whatever versions of Freddy Bonnie Chica Foxy in the Ruin DLC. But at the same time, it feels like that's our only explanation. It's 100% guaranteed they're themed with Security Breach because all the times they've been leaked, they're always, always affiliated with the tag Security Breach. And normally I'd write it off as just another weird Funko recolor, but again, the fact that they showed up on a officially licensed Hot Topic shirt, it feels like there's more going on here than we may realize. But honestly, I'd love to know your thoughts on the brand new set of characters in the comments down below and also what new product you're looking forward to most. I should also mention that Tony revealed that most of the circus stuff has an estimated time of release of quarter 1, 2023. He says that he'd imagine the other stuff is going to be about the same release, but he can't verify for certain. But that's an in-depth look at all the brand new Funko products we're going to get for FNAF. Once again, love to know your thoughts on all the brand new products, including those potentially leaked DLC characters. But thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.